today, as always, um, we will be making another video. Now, this is another Besiege video. I haven't made this one for like two days, obviously, you can tell. Now, I have something to show you. It's this thing. It's called the APC. Um, I think you can see why I call it that. I'm a personnel carrier. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's just really unweird. And it's it's pretty good for what it is. Uh, oh, that's weird. Anyways, it's made so that the outside will get damaged and that the inside will try to stay intact as much as possible. That doesn't happen to the bottom of the hole. Here, let me just show you. Yeah, the bombs have such a big explosion radius that they just destroy the whole entire plane inside there. I don't know how to fix it. I just think it would take too long to actually fix it. I think I do holes or something. Yeah, there's like a block I could put in there. Actually, this driver's I know it could fix all the problems I'm having if it's catching and burning. Just want to pull there, pull there, pull there. Yeah, what? Where'd it go? Anyway, and pull there. And you gotta go down here. There's more poles. And place, I don't know. I don't know. What did that do now? The pole doesn't mess up anything. No, it doesn't mess up anything. Yeah, the wheels have enough space to move. Yeah, I came up with this last night. I thought it was a pretty good design and everything. Because I saw someone else in the season. Well, not in the season, a different game. And they put armor. I think it was in Robocraft. They put armor all around the robot, and then the inside was like how it is here. So I kind of copied what they did and just put this on there. I like how this looks. I like how flat it is. I was only about maybe three and a half blocks tall, four maybe. Yeah, it's probably four blocks tall. And it just seems really good at surviving damage. Um, just gonna roll that out of the way. Um, you, you didn't see anything, okay? But yes, this is a pretty good tank. If I was to move all the armor, which I think I can do. Here, let me just go into this mode and rip all the armor off. Let's see, let's just put. Some pin blocks to hold the wheels, and then they won't move. I guess. All right. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna start with removing this top little. Why did that not stick on there? Can the wheels still move? Uh oh. What did I do? I think it's, I just moved it off the whole frame? What? What did I do? It just moved off the whole frame. What the heck? I've never seen that happen. I'm to show you again. Here, I just explored for a long time. 
And then it just breaks off. And then I can just rip off the whole entire thing. That is amazing. Yeah, let me show you how strong the thing is. See, all those blocks, they hold together when they're trying to check the inside as much as they can. I mean, damn it. See, the inside wouldn't have been damaged right now, I'm playing. So let's just remove the pins and test how much the inside can actually take before it's going to break off like it did before. That was just cool. I didn't expect that to happen, though. Seriously. Alright. Okay, we just did a flip. And we're gonna move it because I don't want it hanging down. Bringing it into this wall. Okay. We don't want. No, 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 no. I don't think we want to light it on fire. We lit it on fire. Okay, that was the whole entire thing. Alright. Um. Let's try that again. I didn't think that would happen. Right. Let's just flip it over simply and see what happens. Nothing. Nothing happens at all. Except for that wheel and that wheel. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to admit the wheels are pretty weak. That's the whole point of the outside armor. Check the Get out of your bounding box! They're not even here. Oh my gosh, will you stop it? Stupid flipping bounding box. This does fit in the bounding box, though. Um, oh crap. <laughs> I wish it was the last one, wasn't I? What should I use? Get up! Get up! Get out of the get out of the get out of the closet! Get up! Get up! Get up. Get up. No! Give me that! No! Not fun! Okay. I just walked him on. Hi. Uh, sorry about that technical difficulty there. Um, phone calls, right? Yeah. <sighs> okay. Now, there's one thing I'll show you. I'll show you all the other cars I have unlocked. Sorry about that. Um, 
We're not unlocked, we're just cars you can get. This one... It usually has problems with steering. Like, it doesn't want to turn left or right sometimes. I don't get it. Yeah, this one is pretty easy to break it. All I have to do is, like, crash and flip it over a few times and it'll break. I didn't show you the APC crashing, though. Let's show you that. Okay. So the APC has a very small turning circle. It can turn a little bit bigger than a dime. I'm not gonna say very dime a dime. It turns okay. I mean, when the wheels turn, they kind of do that weird glitching thing that you see right there. But that's okay. Alright. Now I'm gonna crash into these people and then crash into the castle and you'll see how much it gets damaged, which is not that much actually. It shouldn't be though. I see it absorbs it and then it goes off throughout the frame. But look how I can just detach off of the whole frame. I didn't know it could do that. Just detach straight off. Kind of weird. Think about it. And yeah, that was not fast. Uh, I'm not really disappointed about the speed. It wasn't built for speed. It was built to protect. And I know I may sound like a very boring YouTuber. I'm not trying to. It's just because I. <laughs> It's my first time starting YouTube, okay? I'm a little anxious. And, yeah. Mm hmm. Ice cream cones are amazing, man. This wasn't amazing. Seriously, the whole ice cream going, they're just the best. Unless you're lactose intolerant and you can't eat, like you can't have anything with milk in it. I feel bad for you. Seriously. But don't feel too bad about not drinking milk. Milk here is. <coughs> Oh, sorry about that. I don't know what the heck got me popping. <coughs> I think it's just I randomly have it. Anyways. Like, if you're lactose intolerant, don't feel too bad about not drinking milk. Because if you live in the USA, the milk isn't that good here. I'm gonna admit it. Like, there's better milk than cow milk. And 1 in 2%. There is. Um, I think it's like goat milk or something. So it'll be a lot healthier. I don't know. <sighs> so, yeah. There's something I can't believe so. Guys, there's 10 views on this channel. Not 10 subscribers, just 10 views. It's just amazing. I've only had a YouTube channel for like 3 days. And I already have 10 views. Well hey, at least someone's liking my videos. They're not actually liking it, they're just watching them. Hmm. Here's a tip, um, if you're building something really heavy like this, Make the suspension really strong by putting the springs on setting like on three times the strength of a regular spring, and it just makes it super strong. Hold up all this weight, like you can see, it's not gonna get this weight anytime soon. 
Well, you can just do this. And chuck it. See if we can really chuck it around. Chuck Norris! Oh. Chuck no- It's not gonna let me do it. Chuck Norris! Ugh! Chuck Norris kicks! There we go! I'll- Oh no. <laughs> kinda- Oh, we kinda crashed there. Oh. Now there's only two sets of wheels. Oh, there's- one little bit of wheel, one wheel left. Oh, and it's gone. Now it's just a frame. I see how long it takes to destroy this frame. I haven't even tested by it. It shouldn't take that long, right? Change the frame. Nope. All right, hang on. Let me check something. Sixteen minutes? Okay, well, um, I'm gonna stop the recording there. Bye guys! Hope you have a nice weekend. I'm gonna record another video on Saturday and another one on Sunday. So, see you guys later!